Welcome back guys, it's Matt King Corey here with another video for you. This is something a little out of the ordinary. Normally I do electronics videos, as you're probably well aware, um, but this is something that's bothered me for a very long time. Back when I was a kid, I was into collecting and fixing bicycles, and so my parents bought me this 1965 Sears that was like in perfect condition, almost, from an antique store. And uh, like a complete idiot, I left it outside one winter, and there were batteries in the tank, unbeknownst to me, and they exploded and dissolved the whole metal tank for the bike, and uh, this is what's left of it, unfortunately. So when I went out that following spring, I found, to my dismay, that it had eaten right through the steel tank and uh, completely destroyed it. It is beyond repair. So as you see there, um, you can kind of see the decal still on there, but yeah, it is completely destroyed. However, thanks to the wonders of modern internets and buying possibilities, I am going to reuse this plastic thing and I've ordered a replacement part. So let me get the box and I will unbox it for you very shortly. Okay, and this is what arrived at my door today. I went out thrifting earlier and then came back and to my amazement, this box was sitting for me uh, on my doorstep. So let me go ahead and open that now and we can take a look at this replacement part, which should fit the bill nicely. Ah, ah. My samurai leather letter opener. Ah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, <laughs> sharper than it looks, apparently. Hua. So there it is, and he kind of overdid it with the bubble wrap. Why? Why so much bubble wrap? Oh well. A lot better than a recent package I got, where a Video game, oh my god, would you look at that? <laughs> perfect. Holy crap, holy. That is perfection right there. Holy cow. So yeah, this is it. This is the replacement tank for the 1965 Sears bicycle. And put the, oh, I got it backwards, don't I? Let me see here. Is it like that? It's like that. No, it's not like that this. Aha! There we go. So yeah, that's it together. Holy cow! That looks awesome. This is going to be so cool when I put it on the bike. And speaking of that, that is what I'm going to show now. So let's cut to the bicycle. Blah, blah. Okay, so there's the 1965 Sears as it is in its current condition. Um, it shined up kind, quite nicely, but as you see, the paint has worn off by and large. Um, let me zoom in on the part we will be fixing right now so that you can get kind of a detailed view as to what I am doing. So there's the tank. You go ahead and split it open in half. You put the notch that is here in between these two bars, slide it in there. Well, put this through, then slide it in there. Then close it shut. Put it on there. Nope should be on both of those tabs so that it stays nice and firm and you take the light fixture and you put it on the front now all I got to do is attach the screws and it's good to go so let me go ahead and get the screws and do that okay so I've gone ahead and zoomed in so you can kind of see what I'm doing here the screw is right there screw hole I mean so you can go ahead and put the screws in there we go, now it's going. You do that, obviously this thing wouldn't have had Phillips screws on it. Originally it had regular screws, but this is what I had available in a drawer. It's just some sheet metal screws. At least I think they are, there's something like that. And now for the other one. And hopefully this one's lined up already so I can just go ahead and do that. Nope, I actually turn the wheel very slightly. You don't know how big of a deal this is. I felt so guilty for doing this when I did it, even though it wasn't on purpose. Um, 
I just totally screwed this bike and ruined it. But uh, now that is completely fixed. So there it is, completely done and on the bike. My 1965 Sears bicycle is whole once again. Holy cow, isn't that beautiful? I am going to love riding the crap out of this thing in the future. Um, I'm Mad King Corduroy, and if you enjoyed this video and enjoy bicycle videos, computer videos, music videos, or anything else, um, tune into my station, Transcendental Airwaves, and there will be more in the future. Of course, feel free to check out my other videos that I've done in the past, and like and subscribe, and leave a comment, because I kind of like hearing from you guys and like to know what is going on. So, thank you for watching.